Are you hitting a Christmas market or two? Heating up some lovely mulled wine? Have you opened the first doors of your Adventskalender? In case you aren't in Germany yet, don't worry. No matter where you are, you can still bring some magic of German Christmas vibes into your holiday celebrations with the right vocabulary and a pinch of cultural knowledge. If this sounds good to you, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming Christmas lessons. It's guaranteed to make your festivities extra special and fun. If we haven't met yet, hello and welcome to Speak Fluent German. My name is Salome and I'm a certified native German teacher from Frankfurt. Now, without further ado, lasst uns anfangen. All right, let's start with some pre-Christmas traditions and useful vocabulary. You're currently in the so-called Adventszeit, which is the period leading up to Christmas. Die Adventszeit. Many people celebrate Advent by opening a Advent calendar, which we call der Adventskalender. Repeat after me. Der Adventskalender. Hast du auch einen? Do you also have one? And we love baking Christmas cookies during this time of the year. We call those Plätzchen. Die Plätzchen. Another important vocab are, of course, the Christmas markets. Der Weihnachtsmarkt. Der Weihnachtsmarkt. Gosh, I love German Christmas markets. You can find so many good foods and mulled wine, which we call Glühwein. Der Glühwein. So if you want to order your mulled wine at the Christmas market, you can say Einen Glühwein bitte. Einen Glühwein, bitte. Speaking of foods, you'll find many variations of gingerbread, which is Lebkuchen in German. Der Lebkuchen. You'll find the most popular gingerbread in Nuremberg. It's famous for its very nutty taste and it is just super delicious. Sehr lecker. Ich liebe es. Another delicious treat during Christmas time is a German Christmas cake called der Christstollen, or simply der Stollen. It's a German fruit cake, and this tradition goes all the way back to the 14th century and was first baked in Sachsen, in Dresden to be more specific. Der Christstollen. Der Christstollen. The next word you need to know is the word for gift, which is das Geschenk. Noch einmal. Das Geschenk. And of course the word for Christmas, which is Weihnachten, and which can be a bit tricky because of its CH sound, which is produced in the back of your throat. Repeat after me. Weihnachten. Weihnachten. If you need more help with your pronunciation, then definitely check out my free lesson for beginners where I cover all the important tips and tricks on improving your pronunciation. The link to register for free is in the description box below. The next important Christmas vocab is the word for Christmas Eve, which is Heiligabend. Heiligabend. Heilig means holy and der Abend is the evening. Heiligabend. And of course, the Christmas tree is a very common tradition in Germany. Christmas tree in German is der Weihnachtsbaum. Der Weihnachtsbaum. All right, let's practice the words that we have learned today one more time. Los geht's. Die Adventszeit. Der Adventskalender. Die Plätzchen. Der Weihnachtsmarkt. Der Glühwein. Der Lebkuchen. Der Christstollen. Das Geschenk. Weihnachten. Heiligabend. Der Weihnachtsbaum. If you found this quick and easy lesson helpful, then don't forget to like and subscribe. I upload two free lessons every single week and until the next one, definitely check out these two videos right here for more. Das ist alles für heute. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss!